Hello guys, today what I will be covering is pagination done with Zen Framework 2. Uh, I'm going to show you three easy steps. Module configuration, controller, index action and view scripts. So let's get started. Actually I'm going to show you the final result. Here we go. This is the pagination of my CRUD controller. I have a lot of CRUD controllers in my CSN user module. I'm going to show you that. You can find the code uh, in the description of the movie. It's into the Git repository, so it's accessible for everyone. User controller, user pagination controller. This is a controller which you have to look at. So now I'm using Table Data Gateway, which comes with Zend. This is a design pattern, and they have implementation of Table Data Gateway. So here it is, the code. But let's start with the module config. The first thing to do is just create a new road. In this case, I have created one child road, which I uh, define it this way. Page and I'm expecting a parameter, which is the number of the page. Here it is. As I said, you can see the code in the Git repository. Using pagination controller. Uh, user pagination controller. As I said, <coughs> I'm using a table data gateway to create a CRUD. Create, re uh, this is actually not create, but retrieve action. Create, update, and delete. Here it is. I have one method which is called use, uh, get user table, and I'm using a standard table gateway which comes with Zend Framework 2. I find this a uh, better way than using simply the adapter. I'm treating one table from the data uh, from the database as an object. And this is how simple it is to get all the records from this table. Return new view model, of course, this is what I'm returning to my view scripts. <coughs> Array, row set, this is how I call uh, my key, which after that I can call in my view scripts. This get user table, select, that's all. It's a very simple, but uh, it doesn't actually allow me to paginate my pages. Imagine we have 10,000 records, so what we would do? If you go and read the documentation of Zend, you will find the solution is not uh, the perfect documentation, but uh, it does its jobs. It does its job. So if you read it, they have a different adapters. Actually, they are ready to paginate not only the database results, but arrays as well. So one way of doing that is just use their array adapter, and after that, convert your result set to array. But that's not very good, because in any case, uh, all the records will be retrieved from the database, and only few of them will be shown. And this is a waste, I think. <coughs> so the best is just to use, in my case, DB table gateway adapter, which is going to retrieve only the records we need, not the entire result set. So here it is how it goes. Paginator, and I create one object of class Paginator using the adapter DB table gateway, and uh, I'm giving one instance of uh, table gateway. After that, I set a default page, which is one, and check from uh, input parameters. If there is a page set already, I'm setting my uh, page to this value. It comes from here, as you can guess. And now page number one. If I click on page number two, it's going to turn to page number two. So I'm taking this parameter from my, uh, from my input. <coughs> Paginator, set current page number, and I'm saying how many page, uh, how many rows per page do I want. 
and the paginator gets sent to my view script. That's step number two. So module configuration, changes in your index action of your CRUD controller eventually, or whatever you use it. And the third step is just changing slightly your view script, which is very simple. Before, it was only like that. I didn't have anything under this line. And of course, I didn't iterate through paginator, but result set. But a part of that, nothing has changed. So I just changed this name to paginator. And again, I create a loop to show all my records. Here the magic comes. Now we use uh, one partial view helper to show this, to show the paginator control, pagination control. So I'm sending the entire object paginator. I'm uh, setting the behavior, sliding all elastic jumping, sliding, sliding again. I repeat this because I use this already. So if you read the documentation, you'll figure out that. And after that, you have to set your par partial view script, search pagination, PHTML. Copy this directly from Zend or from my examples, my tutorials. Here it is, examples, search pagination, item pagination, and drop-down pagination. It's really very simple. I have copied all these codes and created uh, view scripts here in my view folder. Here they are. Search pagination. This is what I'm going to use. Once you copy and paste the code here, here we go. You have this partial view, view script ready to be used. After that, you point to it and you send your new route. And that's it, the magic happens. Let's look at again. One, two, three. Page one, two, three. Of course, you can change the rows per page. Let's say, let's set seven. And you'll see how everything changes now. Here we go. We have only two pages now. Or you can change your uh, partial view script or the behavior. Instead of sliding, you can say, for example, all. I don't think we will see a big difference here because I don't have enough results. But see, it works. Sliding. And you can change not only the behavior, you can change um, your partial view script, search pagination, HTML. So it's, it's very simple. It's very easy to set up pagination. Here we go with Zend Framework 2. Zend Framework 2 comes with uh, com uh, components for almost all our needs as developers. Drop down. I'm going to bring it back as it was. Of course, you can make your own experiments with that. So that's it. Three very simple steps. Set up a route so you can take uh, from the route the page, the page number. Make the necessary changes in your index action, eventually in your CRUD controller, where you retrieve all the records and try to show them. The third step is just add the pagination control view helper to your page, uh, to your view script. Adjust the behavior, set the partial view script, send the root, and that's it. Thank you for your attention. Hopefully that's helpful for someone. And I just want to say that since Google offers now broadcasting on 720p, uh, I'm going to 
broadcast myself on Google instead of first recording myself on Camtasia and after that uh, rendering and uploading. This is much better a way to do it and it saves me quite a lot of time. Again, thank you for your attention.